Good evening. There are questions tonight. Is community pressure behind the decision to retry Ray Tenzing for shooting Sam DuBose? Prosecutor Joe Dieters announced his plans for the trial, but surprised everyone by asking for a change of venue. He says the decision was his alone, but Tenzing's team says otherwise. Night on your side's Tom McKee is live with why each side says its version of the story is the one you should believe. Tom? Well, Stu Matthews says Ray Tensing is disappointed at having to stand trial again, but believes the verdict will be not guilty. Prosecutor Joe Dieters, on the other hand, says he thinks there'll be a conviction for murder or voluntary manslaughter, or he wouldn't be doing this for a second time. There's been a large public outcry for Ray Tensing to be retried ever since the jury in his first trial was deadlocked. Whether that has had any impact on the decision for a second trial, Depends on who you ask, Prosecutor Joe Dieters or defense attorney Stu Matthews. I think the community um, absolutely and members of the community and, mem and politicians all, all played a huge role in, in the decision that was made. He's just wrong. That's not true. That's not true. I mean, I will admit to you, I have met with people interested in this case from the community. Um, I've heard from both sides many times. I mean, just from around the country. But Dieter says that was not what influenced him. My decision is based on the likelihood of success at trial, and that's it. If I thought we couldn't win this case, we would not retry this case. To back up his claim, Matthews pointed to the news conference after the mistrial was declared, featuring the mayor, police chief, and city manager. For now, though, he'll prep his client for retrial sometime next year. We both knew it was coming. Um, obviously, he's disappointed, but ready to go wherever they tell us to go, whenever they tell us to be there. Matthews says he's just as confident about the outcome as Dieters is. We've tried it once. We saw what the outcome was, and um, it's my belief that we'll try it again, and we'll see what the outcome is. Once again, two very different versions of the same set of facts. The issue of change of venue is going to be debated before Judge Megan Shanahan here at the courthouse next Monday morning at 9 o'clock. Tom McKee, 9 on your sign, live downtown.